given very good advice that every Kenyan artist should know everywhere. So Martin, no no meka tunde you where your people are working, you know? The, we need to to move. Pengine this time we can get some of you who like to interact with him. You ask him a few questions, you ask us a few questions and then you're able to go back and forth. You know so you come out on a Okay. Una point to mesema ya kwamba unaweza kutumia hela nyingi au sio alafu unakuta unapata kidogo sio lakini pia unatamani kuona kazi yako ikichezwa kwenye media kubwa sio unatamani kuona kazi yako inaenda mbali sio na inarudisha ki, zaidi ya ulicho invest si niko sawa mimi naweza nikakwambia kitu kimoja before hauja record before haujaingia studio you need to be very sure na wimbo wako Usi, usijiamini kwamba umefanya kazi nzuri before hujaifanyia research uliza watu alafu pia kuwa msikilizaji tumia hii technique angalia nyimbo gani zina hit this time around nyimbo gani zina hit wanatumia technique gani kitu gani cha tofauti ambacho kipo kwenye wimbo ambacho kimeteka kime attention ya watu alafu wewe sasa fanya ya kwako kwenye njia hiyo yani just like that song ambayo ina hit in your way so nanielewa kwa mfano ch chukua tetema laba my song tetema unasikiliza ule wimbo naona alifanyaje watu wakapenda wimbo ah alifanya hivi chukua kama ule but do in your way ongeza vitu vyako fanya vitu tofauti kwa sababu i'm telling you you be wasting your money your time kama utakuwa unafanya kazi ambazo unazipenda wewe tu mm -hmm. alafu unaenda unaitoa watu watu kazi ikiwa nzuri hata usipompelekea dj wenye watu watauchukua atapiga wacha niongezee hapo kidogo unajua ama filmmaker and uh, there is some you think you are good but you should not be the measure of your goodness. Unasema nimetoa kibao watu wanapenda my friends like it. Lakini unajua si friends wako natolea kibao natolea the world. Je, hiyo kibao yako ukiya kwa YouTube hata kama tune bila hata video how many people will like it and how many people will listen to it? Unakutana watu 50 peke yake your friends and relatives. Lakini mwingine anatoa ina hit 10,000, 20,000 inafika 1 million. Why? Because that tune is catchy. Your tune imeshika watu. Yes. You know you have to make things for the people. Yes. Rebani alisimama akaongea kuhusu alianza kuongea kuhusu madini, akaongea kuhusu God alafu akasema juu ya entertainment. Money is in entertainment, but it, you have to be good. Let me be brutal. Eh? If you suck, you suck. If you are talented, you are talented. It's as simple as that. So you have to listen to what he's saying, but you have to look at what makes people succeed? What kind of songs do you want to attack Kuskiza? Then that's where you go. Like you know, I'm going to style you, I'm going to give you, I'm going to friends you, I'm going to be and then nobody else wants to listen to it, then you fail. So you have to go with things that really attract a lot of people. Now, I'm going to say, 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 I'm Kweli, kweli. Eh hey, ila anafikiria imbo moto watu wapendi na kuna zingine anachukulia hivi hivi hiyo ndio watu wanapenda. Yes. Hiyo ndio anaimba. Sasa iko hivi hapo naongezea kwamba you need to get people's attention. Hiyo ndio secret ya kwanza. Unatakiwa upate attention ya watu. By the time mimi natoa wimbo wa kwanza niliwaza nitaimba wimbo gani ambao mtu akiwa anapika akiwa anafanya kitu chake akiusikia aache aanze kunisikiliza. Nikasema okay wengi wanaimba baby na kupenda au mtu anaambia ndakupa nyumba na gari au ulikasema okay mimi niimbe wimbo ambao namchukua mwanamke ambaye tajiri na mpeleka kwenye maisha magumu kwetu ndio ile sifa kwa Mola wangu Maulana unaongea vitu ambavyo kwenye no, kwenye maisha ya kawaida mtu mwingine anaweza ongea unamwambia mimi nyumbani sina umeme sina sina hiki nyumbani kwetu pabaya we don't have a good life Hakuna mwanaume anaweza kumwambia mwanamke hivyo. Lakini hicho kitu kikifanya 
mtu ana, ana, anaweza kazingatia e eh, amewazaje kufanya hichi kitu kwa mfano sikiliza hata nyimbo za miziki ya Kenya kuna miziki ya Kenya mingi ambayo na hit Tanzania ukiangalia ilivyo ni simple iko creative so you need to do something like that ili watu wa attract kwa sababu wanaonunua kazi ni watu wanaosikiliza kazi ni watu mziki ukiwa mzuri hata watu waubanie ma DJ wasipige mtaani una hit hata watu wasipotaka yani mziki wako utatembea wenyewe ikiwa umetengeneza wimbo ambao unachukua attention za watu usifanye kitu ambacho kila mtu anafanya ukiimba oh umeniacha moyo wangu naumia na maumivu baby i miss you kila mtu anaimba ili upate nafasi unatakiwa ufanye something different sio kwa mfano watu wanaimba na kupenda mimi nishaimba wimbo sikupendi unaelewa sijui unaenda opposite na watu wanapenda kuna nyimbo mtu anaimba itawazima moto tunazima moto na dawa ya moto ni moto hiyo something simple lakini ukisikiza wewe ukisikia unapenda nimesikia uh, nyimbo za, za, za nani uliza kiatu angalia wimbo kama ule mtu kaimbia kiatu vitu unavyopata tabu nini wewe uliza kiatu hata mimi nisipokuwa sipendi mziki nikisikiliza tu ya idea unajikuta umependa sio hizi love songs au nyimbo za mapenzi au nini hizi ni nyimbo ambazo siku zote zinapendwa ila it depends na melody ulotumia kwa sababu na nyimbo zingine za mapenzi zinategemea sauti yako zinategemea maneno umeyapangilia kwa mfano unaweza kusema unaanza kuimba tu unasema mimi nitakuoa inawezekana vipi yani yani wewe umekutana na mwanamke ujamoa approach ujaongea naye umekimbilia kumuoa inawezekana so hata ukiandika nyimbo za mapenzi is like you're telling story ni kama una hadisia anza naanza mwanzo na msifia sura nikimaliza kumsifia sura na kuja tabia nikimaliza tabia na kuja kumwambia wanaume wengine wasimfate so ni wewe the way unaitengeneza kazi yako ndio the way utakavyo iuza hivi unanielewa sijui unaweza ukaweka ukaweka 1000 ukapata hata 12000 au ukapata 20000 from 1000 na unaweza kaweka 20000 usipate chochote kutokana na kwamba wimbo ulio utoa wenyewe haukubebi sio kwa hiyo ili kazi yako iwe nzuri ufanikiwe maana yake we mwenyewe unatakiwa utafute kitu ambacho ni kizuri sikiliza miziki iliyotoka wanaimbaje ikiwezekana copy sio mbaya ukikopi na ukawa successful ina ubaya gani ndio maana watu wengine wanaonaga waimbe covers at least watu wamjue kwanza ingawa ukiimba covers sana ukija kuimba wimbo wako watu wanakuwa wamekuzoea kwenye covers but you need to do something better ili iwa attract watu nafikiri nimekujibu sawa yeah kuna mwingine tena and everyone good afternoon uh, my name is elizabeth nzilani i'm a model i have two questions for you rivani Um, as an established artist and part of Wasafi it's my dream in like let's say one or two years to be a brand ambassador maybe or do sales advertising um, my question one what do you look for when you look for such a person to maybe represent your brand to be in your videos and such or maybe to be the face of something and two as an upcoming model what can i do and which part can i focus on to achieve that thank you uh, as i said kwenye kila kitu you need people's attention you are a model right unatakiwa upate attention ya watu nguo na wewe uko na social medias find something different that people will talk about that's the way ambavyo unaweza ukafika mbali kwa mfano Unaweza kutumia saa. Hizi saa watch. Ukatengenezea nguo, ina saa hapa, ina saa hapa, ina saa hapa, ina saa hapa. 
ukawa kwenye social media kote kesho kaweka nguo ina be creative find something ambayo itakuwa na attention kwa watu ambayo itavuta watu wa, wa, wa kuongelee then wewe kutokea kwenye video kutokea kwenye 